Hey guys, welcome to Dread Vault. Today we will check these LTD Alexi Laiho signatures, which are from 2009 and 2016. So here we are doing another LTD review in this channel, and this time we will check LTD Alexi 600s. We have the side and the green versions of this guitar from 2009 and 2016. Actually, both of them have a really similar construction material wise. But we have a little bit of upgrade on the site from 2009 and I'm gonna mention this later. But before this, if you are a first timer, let me introduce myself. I'm Tolga Sart and this is Red Vault, which is a small recording facility in the basement of my home. And in here, I'm trying to explore the limits of my gear. And if you wanna explore with me, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, you can always make a huge contribution by leaving a comment. Now let's talk about the guitars. So today we have two different LTD Alexis signatures in the vault today. And these guitars belong to a dear friend of mine, Emra. And you should definitely check his channel because just like my sympathy to the Megadeth and De Mustaine and King V guitars, he has a thing about Children of Bodom and he makes magnificent Children of Bodom covers besides his other content in YouTube. And he plays these things just as they should sound like, unlike me, because I just brought these things at home and I want to give it a go. And I put up all this stuff and I start shooting. So... Today we will check these guitars with my Marshall JVM 410H head with my Mesa rectifier standard cabinet. I have a Shure SM57 in here and we will check these guitars. I will share my honest observations right out of the box to you in front of the camera. I just tuned these guitars and I start shooting this video. Now let's talk about our guitars. Let's start with the side from 2009. In this guitar we have an alder body with maple neck and ebony fretboard. The scale of the fretboard is 25.5 inch and we have 24 extra jumbo frets. Besides that we have a Floyd Rose 1000 and Grover tuners. We have a single pickup which is the EMG Hertz H2. But there's a small modification in this guitar and I think it's something, it's something rare. We have JE1000 preamp booster which was added later by Emra and I think this modification provides a little bit of uniqueness to the characteristics to the sound of the guitar and for a 15 year old guitar I think this thing looks brand new even the metal hardware has no damage or corrosion on it after 15 years and I really like the design and the color the finish the the material quality and the craftsmanship of this guitar now let's continue with the greeny. Now we have greeny from 2016 and this thing is 8 years old. And just like the site, we have an alder body with maple neck and ebony fretboard again with 25.5 inch scale and 24 extra jumbo frets. But I have to say I can feel the edge of the frets this time unlike site. I think the crowning of this guitar, this site is better, but it's not big of a deal. You know, it's not like the cheap import guitars you know it, it, it's it's acceptable but there it is i have to mention this anyway we have floyd rose 1000 with grover tuners again with emg hertz h2 again but this time we have no modification it is just as it is also i really like the finish of this guitar too you know if you are into Alexi Laiho and it's it means something especially the children of bottom hate crew logo on it also, we have different inlays this time, but both of them look killer, I think. Now we can play these. First, we will start with the side and we will check the effect of the preamp. And then later we will switch the guitar. Also, there won't be a clean sound in this video because that's how it should be. Also, I found a picture on internet which provides the settings of Alexi Laiho himself on a Marshall JVM 410 head. And I just dialed these settings into the OD1 channel of the amplifier because that's the channel he used. Also, I sent the signal to the Mesa rectifier 4x12 cabinet of mine, which is loaded with Mesa UK V30s. Also, I mic'd up the cabinet with a simple Shure SM57 on the half cap, half composition. Also, I won't use an overdrive with this guitar, but we will open up the Maxon OD808 with the greeny. Also, we have standard C tuning on the side and we have drop C tuning on the greeny. 
I will play the red section of the OD1 channel with the Alexi Laiho settings and I won't open up the preamp at first. Now let's start. <laughs> And let's open up the preamp. I hope we are not clipping because as far as I see in the audio interface we are on the negative 18 dB around. But actually we are really loud at this time. Now let's check the effect of the preamp on the orange section because you know the red section of the OD1 is really pumped, it's, it's really harsh, it's really powerful and maybe we can feel the effect of the preamp on the orange, orange side, orange, orange version, orange channel of the OD1 channel better. <laughs> I have to say I don't like the sound of a Marshall JVM with a Mesa rectifier cabinet. I mentioned this in my Crate Flex cabinet video, but this thing sounds as good as it can be and it sounds better than most of my Jacksons in this combination. I'm not meaning my Jackson sounds bad. These things sounds good on lots of different rigs, but I don't like the sound of my Jacksons on a Marsh Marshall JVM with a Mesa rectifier cabinet. I play this amplifier with my Crate cabinet most of the time. It's not a Marshall by the way. I just swap the Crate logo with a 3D printed Marshall logo just for cosmetic concerns. Anyway, but this thing sounds magnificent or 
it sounds as good as it can be and I really like to play this thing without the preamp and with preamp both combinations sounds magnificent now let's check the greenie I connected the greenie and in a blind test I couldn't say which is which besides the edge of the frets because I can feel the edge of the frets just a little bit on the greenie besides that even the weights or the feel of the neck polish of these guitars are equal you know also the hardware is equal the the pickup is equal i played this thing without the preamp so we can compare the the guitars also we have an od 808 at this moment but it's close we will start with the red section of the od one and let's start mm -hmm. It sounds hollow and it's not that tight. Let's give it a go to the OD808. There's the boxiness that I'm talking about all the time and I really don't like this type of sounds and let's try to get rid of it. I think we need a little bit of more low end. I want to play the site again just to remember you might say it's because of the tuning but but it's on drop C and it's on standard C so I think it won't matter that much This is the effect of the preamp and I think it's magnificent. I really like the, the push, tight, harsh, you know, it's crushing. This, I, I really like this sound, it's magnificent. And now let's check the, the original setup of the guitar again and we will compare this thing again with the greenie.
I hope you can hear the tightness on the low end. And let's go to the greeny again. I just played while the preamp is off and I'm switching up the amplifier again without any difference. I don't know what's different but the sound of the side even with the preamp is off is way better than the greeny. I'm not saying this is a bad guitar, the, f the feel of these guitars are identical but maybe if Emrah can upgrade this guitar, the, the circuit of this guitar with a JE1000 preamp just like the side, maybe this thing will sound as good as the side. But also I know we can get a good sound from this guitar too. It just needs the right amplifier and right cabinet. It's not matching that good with Marshall, with Mesa, just like lots of my Jacksons. But at this moment I like Sight more and I'm gonna give it a go again just for your pleasure. And then we will close the video. you enjoyed the content enjoyed the sound of these of these actually this is not a bad guitar but this thing is so good also let's talk about the body shape of this guitar you know i'm in love with king Vs and i don't like even the range roads of jackson that much because i cannot support the guitar with the back side of my right leg but the 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 length of the lower wing is long enough for me to do that in this guitar, on this guitar, you know, I can hold the guitar just like this in balance without my hands on it. And I really like the size, the, the, the dimensions. I, I like everything about this guitar. The sound of this guitar, this green might be better, but this is just flawless. I really like this one. Also, at the end of the video, I want to say a few things about Alexia Laiho. First of all, I did not want to make him the subject of this video because of it I didn't talk about him or the children of Bodom in general. I just played the guitars and talk about the guitars because I want to review two guitars from LTD just like a regular video of this channel and his name was written on it. But also I don't have that much information about neither Alexi Laiho nor children of Bodom. I just listened a few tracks of them in my high school years but still, I respect his legacy and I respect his impact on the metal scene a lot. So may his soul rest in peace. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the content because it means a lot and it helps a lot to the growth of this channel. Also, you can always make a huge contribution by leaving a comment. I can throw my pick. 
because it's the end of the video. Till the next video, see ya.